So with regards to all of this child trafficking stuff that they're trying to hide, this is how the game is played, and I'm going to use Isaac Cappy and the situation around him as an example. So if you go into Isaac Cappy, the first thing you're going to find is Phoenix Enigma and his little group, um, the Goblin Dowd, and uh, the guy who has all of Cappy's electronics, Captain Underpants, he lives in Ohio, and probably Glenna the Bad Witch, she also lives in Ohio, because there's a thousand kids missing, but those thousand kids missing in Ohio, I believe came about because the whole satanic Nazi pedo ring that got busted in um, on the East Coast in September. I believe it was New York. Could have been Washington. I'm tired and I'm, I'm just... Uh, but, uh, so, people find out about Isaac and what he was trying to expose. And the fact that he did a video saying that he wasn't suicidal and if something happened to him he didn't do it to himself and every time in this live periscope video he said that you could hear someone in the background hurting his dog and it was pretty obvious i mean it was kind of a really disturbing video and then the very next day Supposedly, he went from saying that he was not going to hurt himself and that if something happened to him, he didn't do it to himself, to, oh, he was despondent and he went to a bridge and threw himself off the bridge. And all the people that are connected with that, who have the whole story, is Phoenix Enigma and his group. So anybody who finds some interest in Isaac will first go there. And chances are they'll be run down so many rabbit holes that go nowhere. And the whole object of the game is to distract and discombobulate. Make it so confusing that people just get tired of it and they walk away. And so, but you will walk away thinking that Phoenix Enigma and Dowd and his whole loser town group. Oh, wait a minute. That's not the right name. Um, sewer town, not loser town. I think the one is, they're both apt. But you'll walk away thinking that this crew had something to do with it. Now, this group has the other side taken care of too. Because those who are not so easily distracted will say, no, there's something there. Something has to be done. Well, who are you going to gravitate towards? You're going to gravitate towards Thomas. Thomas is their victim. And they go after Thomas. And Thomas has actually fought with them and won this whole Gabe Hoffman lawsuit thing. So if you are someone who has information or who is trying to do the right thing, you're going to gravitate towards Thomas because Thomas is there after him. So he must be a good guy and he fought them. He won in court. This is all part of their game. Thomas is a honeypot in that he'll befriend you and oh my God, he's just, he loves you. And he will try to get as much information as he possibly can out of you. And uh, their game is, if you call any of them out, they have a group for each side. Oh, well, you're against Thomas, so you must be with this group. Or, oh, you're against Phoenix and, and Phoenix Enigma and all of that, so you're either with Thomas or some other group. And they're all involved with it. They're all involved with it. They're all involved with Isaac Cappy. Thomas did to me the same thing he did to Isaac. He reached out to Isaac. He reaches out to everyone. Anyone who could possibly be a threat. Look at all of this. Chances are 
you'll find Thomas somehow wrapped within it. Because Thomas is the mastermind. I have dealt with every single one of these people. Phoenix Enigma doesn't have the fucking brain power. His wife definitely doesn't. Dow definitely doesn't. Captain Underpants in Ohio definitely doesn't. Glenna the Good Witch definitely doesn't. Lucian Greaves, founder of the Satanic Temple, doesn't. Thomas is key to all of this. And Thomas doesn't like the fact that I'm calling him out. That's the whole reason why, even though I told him not to, he gave me $100. Well, when I went and called him out, what's the first fucking thing he did? He showed receipts. He has receipts. It's too planned, and I knew it was planned. He's working with Titus Frost. Titus Frost is a bad dude. Compare Titus Frost to Nathan Stoltman. How do the two differ? Both of them are supposed to be, ooh, we're champion, we were champions of the people, and all of that, but they destroyed Nathan, and Titus has been untouchable. Fuck, he was at the pizza rate galley, or rally years ago that I was supposed to go to. He was involved with that wolf dude who obviously was involved with the Kino, and I was never meant to return from that. Everything about this wolf dude who was the organizer of this was fake. And I know that because my publisher was going to do a press release for him and all the information he gave my publisher was fake. And so, but Titus went there and came back and has never had a problem and is hand in hand with Thomas. That's how this game is being played. The key for them, to me, for me, is that I'm just exposing their shit. But what comes down to it, for me, is what I was trained to do and the things I know I'm able to do. I don't make these videos because I think anyone's going to go out there and investigate. No one ever has before. No one does shit. That's the whole history of it. If someone comes out and does something, it will be the first time in all the fucking years I've been after this. You know, most people just sit back and watch. And so I knew I couldn't count on anybody there. I got involved with this because what Akino and his friends taught me works. Their problem is they taught the wrong person their shit. The darkness already has a hold of them. Already has a hold of Thomas, you know? I know that for a fact, you know? His interactions with me, I can always tell. And everyone I've sent the darkness to, the same shit happens over and over and over. There Again, there hasn't been one that it hasn't, you know? Because I only send it to bad people. But Thomas, the Christian... And Titus Frost, the Christian. And, but Thomas will tell you he's a Christian, but he only murdered bad people. <sighs> Their shit is going down. It already has gone down. This Nazi bullshit, you know? Thomas isn't after a Phoenix Enigma. What Thomas told me is he's after the Lincoln Project. Like, I was supposed to go after the Lincoln Project. They were saying that Thomas controlled me. But if you knew the shit he wanted me to do, and it was stupid shit, why would I go after the Lincoln Project? Why would I even distract myself with that bullshit? You know? I have my targets in mind. Thomas is one of them now. Started off that way from the very beginning. But he's so much smarter than everybody else. You know, but chances are 
he didn't get trained the way I did. And I bet sure as fuck that uh, they didn't pledge their group souls to it. And that happened. And people can say, oh, that didn't happen. But why do you think ignorance has any effect on the facts or changes anything at all? Your opinions don't, you know, Isaac Newton dealt with the same shit when he was talking about gravity. Oh, gravity doesn't exist. Same fucking thing. So that's this video. I've just explained how this all works. You know, when you get involved and, and they take this pattern and it's just same thing with like Noreen Gosh and Ted Gunderson and all of that surrounding Johnny Gosh. Even with the fucking lawsuit, because let me remind you, didn't Paul Bonacci win a million dollar lawsuit from these people that went nowhere? You know, went nowhere. All it was was talked about. Didn't go anywhere. You know, same cutout pattern of every single thing. But gentlemen, let me tell you, history does not repeat itself. It echoes. And although you're desperately trying to echo the fascist bullshit of World War II, the problem you have is that all of heaven is here right now giving you the fucking war you wanted. It's just that it's not working in a way that you all can control. But you're big on order out of chaos, so let's see it. Let's see you bring order to the chaos that's happening in your own personal lives. And I know it's happening. I know it's happening without a doubt and it hasn't even really begun yet. That's this video.